bringing the people behind our food to life. Chestnuts are really not a nut at all. It's sort of a misnomer to call them a nut. People in the know call them a grain on a tree. The nutritional profile would be most similar to brown rice, actually. This little wispy tuft here, that's the remnant of the flower. This is actually hollow in here, and the pollen will, will drift down that tube. In, in growing chestnuts, first my aim was to grow a perennial crop because I think those are uh, among the most sustainable types of agricultural crops because you're not, there's no ground disturbance. You've got a fixed asset that's year in, year out. Soil erosion is, is nil. Basically, um, I've grown a crop that you can just about grow completely dry land. Um, that's one of the reasons why I chose chestnuts for this site. The whole idea of growing chestnuts in an orchard setting is actually relatively new. Not just here, but in other parts of the world too. Traditionally, farmers would grow a few chestnut trees or graft a few chestnut trees around the perimeter of a field or something. They wouldn't actually plant them in a rose in a block and, and uh, try to produce them that way. Over the years, we collected about 35 different cultivars and tried them and we've winnowed that down to six or eight now that are producing commercial quantities. This is uh, Bush de Bédizac and this is Marceau. Is there a flavor difference? Um, well, one of the, they're both um, considered class one nuts by European standard, which means they're Maroni quality. Um, the difference, you use them a little bit different. This, I call this one the all-purpose nut. This one, is uh, more like, it's a little sweeter, and it maintains a really nice yellow color through the cooking process, so it's like used for desserts and confectionery puree. In terms of flavor, I think this one's a little bit more robust, but not quite as sweet. The harvest process, um, you know, it varies some year to year, but it usually starts about the 1st of October. The burrs will start turn from a, you know, a bright green like you see them now, and they'll start to get kind of a yellow, golden color to them. And the burr, the husk will split open, and the nuts will fall on the ground. Ideally, if you picked a good cultivar to grow, that's what will happen. We use two methods of uh, picking them up. We have a device called a nut wizard that actually rolls on the ground that uh, kind of collects them in a, a little tumbler that makes it easy to pick them up so you actually don't bend over. But then a lot of times you're just down, you know, picking them up by hand. It's about 30 pounds of chestnuts. In terms of the timing of the harvest, um, any given tree will usually drop over about a two week period. Um, being that we have different cultivars, some are later, some are earlier. So our harvest period goes on for about five weeks generally. So now I, we bring them into the building here and uh, dump them out on the, the sink. And this is where we do the inspection and sorting by variety, by cultivar. We wash them, we sort them into a couple of sizes. We sanitize them with an organic method, and then they have to be refrigerated. If you want to grow chestnuts, it's pretty much a necessity to have a walk-in cooler, basically, on your farm. It's capable of keeping thousands of pounds at 32 degrees. The product, because of uh, its carbohydrate and sugar content is a pretty good medium for molding. And so it is a battle to keep them in good condition before they're marketed. A week after harvest is when it's in its best condition probably. Yes, you can have them late in the season, but um, they're really not at their best. We say enjoy them when they're at their prime. I want to grow the best possible product I can. I want to keep it where certified organic. I have 
no plans on changing that. We're also certified by Salmon Safe. You know, sustainability is a scale, you know, and I don't know where we are on it, but we're trying to, you know, work our way up and to have something that uh, uh, makes a little money and is uh, low impact on the environment.